now I think we can uh, we can delve into number two. We're gonna drop a deuce. <laughs> All right. So speaking of dropping a deuce, we're gonna dive into Deadpool two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, and it, it picks right up where the first movie left off. Again, the credit scene's a little bit pushed back because you start out with just basically picking up where Deadpool was, going out and being a merc for hire and, and an assassin for hire, I mean, whatever you want to call it. Deadpool in heels on a stripper pole. Hilarious. Yeah, disturbing. <laughs> disturbing. But hilarious. Certainly disturbing. But um, definitely hilarious. But going around the world, killing the Yakuza, you oh, know, yeah. killing biker gangs, whatever. He's Life's killing good. whoever needs him until one guy who he's after gets away because he's got a panic room and comes and kills Marina Baccaran. Yeah. And kills Vanessa. And then you get the then you get the opening credit scene, which is very Bond esque. Oh my God! Right, yes. Is it with Celine Dion? The, yeah, Celine right. Dion, who <laughs> agreed to do the movie just based on the first one, and Ryan Reynolds asking her. Of course, they're both Canadians, so sure. you know, of course Canadian they're connection. Do it. Yeah. And uh, Ryan Reynolds was like emphatic: "We have to have Celine Dion do a song just for this," and it's it's great. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> I'm it not is. a big Celine Dion fan, no, but man, this, it, it, this song fits. Oh, it's perfect for the it's film. It's beautiful. Um, and you have all these credits, you know, with the, you know, written, direct. It has nothing to do with who it is. It's just, no. oh my God, you killed her? Did you see what just happened? WTF? <laughs> and that's where it goes into the real hero is my ass. You right, know, about the right. writers. Um, you know, she was everyone's favorite character. Yeah. And so then that, of course, puts Deadpool <laughs> off on a path of he doesn't want to live without Vanessa. And he tries to kill himself multiple times. Which, of course, is hysterical because we know Deadpool can't die. No, so he's just punishing himself, which, you know, of course, is very similar to, uh, I think Rick and Morty took a little bit from a Deadpool from Deadpool oh, 2 with Morty after absolutely he goes and is just constantly killing himself. In fact, the polar bears and the lion, you know, both of the zoo <laughs> jumping into an animal. Jumping pit. into the pit and then restarting it. Yeah. You know, I don't I didn't think about it when I'm watching that Rick and Morty episode, but now over to rewatching Deadpool again. Um, it, it, there's, you know, bits and pieces lifted. Sure. Yeah, sure. People do. It's just an homage uh, and it's great. But yep. he goes off, and again, as Phil said, he can't die, but he's trying every to, to, to cleanse his pain. Yeah. Um, so he goes on these activities, and then finally, uh, he gets Colossus comes again, comes a calling to try to find the good in Deadpool once more. And it, it, I mean, really, it's a lost cause, isn't it? Of course, he is. I, it's he it goes throughout the entirety of both movies. Colossus is trying to do this, well, and throughout the entirety of it, uh, you think it might happen, and it, it's never going to happen. The it's Colossus Deadpool. in these films is never going to give up. No, of course, he's always going to keep trying to save Deadpool. He's, he's a Boy Scout. He's very much yeah. a Boy Scout in this film. So you have as you go back to the go back to the mansion, and there's teenage Negasonic Warhead with a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Who's hilarious? No, and Deadpool's yeah, yeah. always like, "Hi." <laughs> <laughs> it, she's just, "Hi, Wade." <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's hilarious. Just these little, these little quips. Yeah, and he's then just kind of domesticated Deadpool at the house, chilling, which, which is weird, awesome. I, I loved seeing him in Professor X's wheelchair and just knocking shit over. That was hilarious. Got, oh was, my god! Where? And which brings you to the where's all the again? Studio can't go for any X. And then they're in the room. <laughs> all the X Men from the McAvoy series are just in the room. And, and shut the door. Just kind of quietly shut the door so he doesn't <laughs> see him. But just I mean, a- amazing. It's hilarious. Absolutely amazing. And that, of course, leads Deadpool to become an X Men. I'm sorry. A trainee. Trainee. Yeah. Uh, which doesn't go all that great. No, he ends up going to jail to the block. Yes. He tells Colossus that he does what's right and sometimes that's messy. Yeah, well, and that's, I mean, hell, that could be the... That's his mantra. Yeah, that, that could be Deadpool's mantra. Uh, I mean, you tell Colossus the truth will set him free, but first it'll piss him off. Uh, right, mantra. So, Free me the horizon, dropping yeah. truth. So, they, you know, Deadpool 
fails to be an X Men essentially, and trainee, trainee, yeah, right, trainee, <laughs> and he uh, gets taken to the ice box with uh, Russell, Russell, who is a who is a plus size supervillain. Yes, and, uh, or well, in, in progress, and has a an ass knife. He does. And yeah, you hear him rooting around in there. Um, <laughs> And it, this serves as the introduction into this film with Cable. Yes. Played and, by Thanos. Yeah, played by Thanos. Uh, Josh Brolin, of course. Um, and he's... Dude, he's so good. He's great as Cable. I, and Cable is, a, is you know, I'm going to say, a legendary Marvel character in the X-Men series. Hell yes. Um, Cable, for you guys who haven't read the comic book, is the son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor. Madeline Pryor is a clone of Jean Grey, mm -hmm. um, and he's from an alternate timeline. So he comes back into this timeline, or he might even be just the future. We'll clarify that. Yeah. Um, but in any event, Cable is the son of Scott Summers and Madeline Pryor. And he comes, which they don't talk about at all. No, in this it's movie. not mentioned at all. Um, well, they probably didn't have the clearance to do so. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Well, it was all. In any event, um, Cyclops or Cyclops, Cable comes back and played beautifully by Josh Brolin. When he lands in our time, you have a scene with two, uh, as it's described in the credits, rednecks. Rednecks, um, yes. Having this discussion on the bed of, <laughs> of truck. And it is Matt Damon. And Alan Tudyk. Yeah. And it's hilarious. <laughs> they're, Absolutely they're, hilarious. They're amazing. It, uh, I mean, they're both awesome actors. Oh, yeah. Own, right, anyway. Uh, but they bring a lot to this. Well, Matt Damon, this isn't his only time in a superhero film playing some kind of caricature character. Because he no. also did Thor so, yeah, a couple in, times. In both uh, Ragnarok and Love and Thunder, yeah. yes. So it's kind of just funny that this continues to happen right and then this is sets up for this movie is rife with deadpool doing kind of shots at the mcu oh my god because he calls cable thanos yes zip right? it thanos he rips on <laughs> he rips on hawkeye yep uh he refers to domino as the black black widow yes <laughs> <laughs> he also calls cable a grumpy old fucker with the winter soldier arm right so. yes yeah it's, I, there's a lot of shots taken for sure i mean that's most of them right there but it's uh, hilarious in it, at that time you had to know at some point at some point the marvel properties like x-men fantastic four and i mean even spider-man were starting to kind of intermingle with the mcu yeah a little bit so, i mean it wasn't it was there were rumblings it wasn't really anything happening yet right it hadn't happened yet it, it wasn't happening yet but it the talks were there so sure. you have to know that well and of course now they knew right, that deadpool is wholly owned by marvel once more because disney bought fox studios Sweet. so they own all the x-men they all own all those properties yep so it'll be interesting to see how are they going to now incorporate? Of course, we saw in Doctor Strange too. You saw Patrick Stewart's Professor X. Man, and with the X Men uh, '97 music going, right? So, oh, that was so. You cool. know what else is going to happen? <laughs> and of course, Disney is releasing Deadpool three in 2024 that has Wolverine in it. That at the end of this film called a shot. Ryan Reynolds called a shot. Yep, absolutely. Well, and that speaks to the real life friendship between Ryan Reynolds and Hugh, Hugh Jackman. Jackman. Sure. Um, they joke around all the time and they, you know, it's a rivalry, but not really. I mean, they're, they're friends. Right. Um, and I mean, I honestly think that conversation went, Ryan Reynolds went to Hugh Jackman and said, Hey man, come on, do it again. And he went, okay. Well, Hugh, Jack <laughs> Hugh Jackman had been on record in the past as saying, once he was nearing the end of his career as Wolverine, he'd been on record saying is that he would love to play in an Avengers type, play Wolverine in an Avengers type film. Right. So now that Deadpool is in the MCU and it's coming out in 2024, you can who literally knows put, who's going to be in that movie. You could put anybody in it. And I, yeah. they're going to do something. It's going to, I can't imagine this not going to be a giant, just epic type Deadpool film. He's in, I mean, how many times is Ryan Reynolds going to point out, ooh, we're in the MCU now? 
right well no of course that that. that's gonna happen and when whatever big cameo drops he's gonna have a comment of course Ooh, you know (laughs) yeah he's he's deadpool yeah, I mean, I think oh even... Oh, my God. It's Captain I mean, Marvel. Well, yeah, he even... <laughs> Captain America was another one of the ones that he, he poked fun at in this film. Oh, sure. There's a little quip about that. So all of that buildup should pay off in 2024. Yeah, and I sure hope so. I cannot wait for Deadpool 3. I got to tell you, the first time I saw Deadpool 2, I was uh, traveling for work, and I was flying back uh, from Utah to Detroit. Mm-hmm. So long flight. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch a movie. I haven't seen Deadpool two yet. Let's watch that. And it was on the, you know, the little screen in front mm-hmm. of you and you got your headphones and everything. I was laughing so hard at that movie. I thought they were going to throw me off the plane. <laughs> the people next to me thought I was insane. Um, I just, I really enjoy these movies. Well, yeah, because they're nonstop beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and this movie, again, I know we haven't talked too much about the plot of this. Of course, Deadpool runs into Cable because Cable is coming back in time to kill Russell. Russell, because yeah. Russell kills his family in the future. Right. Right. And through it all, you know, Deadpool grows as Colossus is trying to get him to grow by <laughs> caring about the kid, who in between makes friends with the juggernaut. Yeah. Also voiced by Ryan Reynolds. I was just going to say that. Took the Uh, words right out of my mouth. (laughs) Sorry. Um, Also, you know, so the juggernaut. That is such a juggernaut thing to say. I mean, I love that. Not right now, but, you know, and he rips him in half. Um, And and the juggernaut is a super powerful character. I'm glad to see the juggernaut the way he's done in Deadpool 2 as opposed to how he was in x-men the last stand well he was just a soccer who was, he, who was terrible yeah and i love that guy <laughs> but not as deadpool i mean bullet tooth tony yeah is awesome but he he shouldn't be he's not the juggernaut. He's, he's not the juggernaut to cover me pretty face yeah. you know I, come on the juggernaut <laughs> is a like he is in this when in the credits is called a cgi character um yeah. is a big giant it's a, he's huge beast of yeah a thing absolutely um professor xavier's brother uh who is just a nasty strong hunter plus ton fighting class strength class dude well uh, unstoppable force yeah you know, that's what a juggernaut is he's the juggernaut bitch that's it. <laughs> jesse pinkman over here um <laughs> that's, that's it so it's an internet meme you know juggernaut <laughs> bitch um <laughs> so in any event uh you know russell befriends the juggernaut which then you know, ends up being a problem because he's the juggernaut and Cable needs all of them. Cable comes together with X-Force and, you know, when Ryan Reynolds builds his team of X-Force, which is a a jab at hilarious. In the comic books, Cable is the founder of Mm X-Force. He's the founder, basically the leader of the new mutants, which then becomes the (laughs) X-Force. So they take a jab there, you know, and you have the Vanisher played by Brad Pitt. So you see him for like three seconds. Awesome. And it's just great abs- cameo. Just absolutely great hilarious. Cameo. Um, great cameo. And Deadpool grows uh, as it's, he goes and never gives up on Russell. Mm-hmm. And then Cable kind of goes back in time to save Deadpool, though he won't admit it. No. Well, of course, he'll never admit that. No. Uh, but yeah, a Deadpool shot has the, the collar on, loses his powers, and Cable goes back and wrecks. Cable's like, ah. Like, ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it's hilarious. And then it yeah. brings us to the best ending sequence of a superhero film ever. So good. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, the whole, if I can turn back time, it, and it's Ryan Reynolds so just going good. back and killing Wade Wilson in X-Men Origins. And that's where yes. he does the with Wolverine of the... Hey, pretty soon you're going to hang out the claws, but I'm going to need you for <laughs> for Deadpool 3, and you're going to need to say yes when I ask. Right. Okay. <laughs> and, then, and then going and shooting oh, himself so in the head as he's reading the script for the Green Lantern. Green Lantern, Lantern yes. <laughs> and going back to kill baby Hitler. Just cleaning up the timeline. <laughs> it's just so damn funny. 
Oh, it, it's great. Yeah, well, in the baby Hitler. It's, yeah. it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, it's just... It's, oh, this smells like Hitler's anus. Well, of course it would, because, you know, Hitler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just great stuff. Yeah. And is. all it does is make me want more. Yeah. No, Deadpool 3 is going to be hysterical. Cannot wait. And I was, again, a, a final note I think I'll say is that I think I can speak for all MCU nerd movie fans, comic book movie fans that... Everyone was super happy that Disney said, "Okay, yeah, we'll we'll keep Deadpool and they'll be R-rated." It'll be Brian R-rated. Reynolds. Thank you, because that's the only way so, to do it. That's it, no, it, a PG-13 Deadpool. You might as well Brutal. just forget it. Forget it. Done. Yeah, absolutely. It needs yep. to be R-rated. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's all I got, Chuck. Yep. Anything no, else? I'm good. Thanks for watching the Nerd Card. If you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe and hit notifications so that you get notified of every new video that we have. And do not forget, you can check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, and especially thenerdcard.com. And with that, we will say, what's, what's on, on your, your nerd, nerd card? card?